Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Space Engineers. We are, this is uh, day three, uh, having been dropped off into space. And let's do this first. There we go, so that I can move around. We've been dropped off into space, and now I've got to make my way towards the moon, which is right out over there. But on the way, I have been checking out asteroids, looking for different ores that we can continue to kind of upgrade the ship here. And so let's step outside. Uh, actually, let me do this. It, uh, there we go. We're all charged up. All right, let's step outside here. Close this off and open this door. All right. So in the last episode, I uh, went ahead and I cruised on over to some more asteroids that I can explore around in so that uh, you didn't have to watch me fly over here. So one of the things I want to do today is put a ore detector on here, or hopefully I have enough materials to be able to do that. So let's do this. Let's go uh, G. Actually, let me, yeah, G. And let's go to... Uh, Or, or, or large blocks. I think, uh, I think Space Engineers changed the menu here a little bit. All right, well, I want uh, character tools, uh, large block, large block. Where are we at here? Yeah, I wasn't expecting this, so this is what the update is. So let's see where I can find what I want is, well, let's just go home and then do a search for ore detector. We'll bring it down. So it doesn't look like I need too much on this ore detector. There we go. All right, so I do not have any steel on me, but I think it would go just, we would be able to put it right there. So let's do this. Let's see if we've got some steel in here. We should have some, I think. Yeah, let's grab that. And put this on here and maybe that'll make it a little easier in seeing what if we've got any materials on these planets and so we can do that Oop, that's not what I wanted to do let's uh, all right uh, one there we go all right let's uh, Get our what we need for materials and we should just be able to come right over here and can't get uh, 39 steel plates 10 computers 20 oh 20 detector components we're gonna have to build those so let's build this as much as we can we certainly need those detector components all right Get up here. Land. All right. Production. We can build detector. It needs iron and nickel. How many did it say we needed? Uh, let's uh, do this. Open up number two. We need 20. All right. Let's 
let's see if we can make 20 detector components. That would certainly be useful. And so let's uh, do this. 20. Now it looks like it has enough material to do that. We also should do this. Uh, the basic refinery. Let's drop this stone down it into here. And we sh <clears throat> should turn this on while that is making basic refinery. We're just trying to save energy by not having uh, some of this stuff on. And so we got our 20 detector components. Uh, let's uh, put... Uh, into there get some more of that going get some more of that going okay all right we got uh, we need uh, 10 computers and let's uh, this production we need 10 of these. Right. I think we just about the steel plates. I might have already had those, uh, but let's uh, see if we can do this. Yeah, we got everything, so we can clear that. All right, so we got a ore detector, and let's do this. Let's clear these out. Okay, so now we can go in here. And let's drop that down and in there, get some more of that going. I could probably move this up to here. And let's move this up to here. That way we can drop all of this stone in here. Drop that up there. Once that gets done, which will be fairly quickly here, we can turn turn the uh, basic refinery off because we're only going to refine these other ores as we need them. And so, I mean, this is the only way that we can get iron is by mining stone. So hopefully we are going to find uh, an iron deposit. Okay, let's turn the basic refinery off. There we go. Okay. Now, let's go set up that ore detector. We can uh, pull it down onto the hot bar here on the ship. And let's hop into the seat here. If we hit uh, G, it should show our ore detector here, and we're going to want to toggle it, the block on and off. Right now it's on. And so let's uh, turn it off for now. But the other thing we need to do is let's go into the control panel let's go to our ore detector oh it's already at max sometimes sometimes they don't set that that's only set like part way in between so we're at to 150 meters max which will help us which will be better than the, the hand drill that we have so we can kind of cruise over to these asteroids without necessarily doing a lot of uh flying around. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's uh, cruise over to this asteroid and let's see if we've got something up here. Let's do this. Dampener's off so we can just kind of coast over there. Okay. 
And as we get a little bit closer, we will turn the dampeners back on. I've noticed these asteroids haven't had anything very visible as far as ore deposits. All right, let's start slowing this thing down a little bit. Something should... Okay, let's... Alright. Come on, anything. Iron would be nice. We'd love to get some iron. Well, there's silicon. That is... That's good as well. Let's close in here. Let's get close enough and see if we can... Okay, we're going to actually hop out and mine some of this silicon because one of the things we want to do is get these solar panels up and going. So we're going to park this right here. Uh, let's uh, hop out of the seat. And oh, let's make sure we've got plenty of hydrogen. <clears throat> What's my inventory look like? Uh, I just got the plates. Oh, actually, I need to do this. Let's, uh, store our money away that we've collected. Put that there. We'll drop the iron plates off when we <clears throat> head out. Okay, let's close that. Don't want to lose our oxygen. Close that. Uh, hit F. And we go. This back into where's my other? There it is. Drop that down there. Okay, so let's pull out the drill. Now it should be right over and in here, someplace. We should pick it up. I hope. All right, let's do this. Let's close in a little closer, see if we can narrow this down a little bit. close as we can get. It says it's right there. Alright, let's hop out. Alright. Okay. Sometimes you get out of the chair an unidentified signal. What in the world's that? You know, they had a new contacts release. I wonder. Oh, I don't know if we dare go out there and check that out. And the unknown signal is a little bit different color. Uh, we're going to let that go for the time being. Kind of nervous. I don't have any protection on the ship yet. 
So maybe that's what we're going to have to start doing. Let's see if we can find this silicon. No, it should be right here someplace. Oh, there it's finally picked it up. All right. So let's just start drilling towards it. I am curious about that unidentified signal. We get into the silicon, we'll get uh, a couple of uh, loads of silicon, and we can uh, work on our solar panels. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's start collecting this stuff. Okay, let's get all of it that we can. Inventory full. Okay. All right. We're gonna mark. We need to mark this as well. Let's do that. Let's mark this first. Let's go. Uh, GPS, new from current. And new current, silicon. Silicon, there we go. Yeah, call it silicon mine. All right, got that. drop this into the old refinery here and let's go ahead and turn this on let it let's uh, get juiced up here and then we are going to go and uh, check out the unknown signal and see what we can salvage out of that Okay, we're full. Let's, uh, we're just going to let the uh, basic refinery run while we're out here. All right. We can make our way through here. Who knows, we might uh, find something else while we're at it along here. Please let it be one that I can get. Oh, no, I think it's... that. Oh, it is one. Unclaimed blocks will despawn. Okay. Oh, this is a pain in the ass. We did get, uh... Okay, we're working on this. More materials we can get. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was going to fly away on me, and I didn't mean to bump it. 
All right, that's pretty good. We'll kind of leave that at that. All right, where's our ship at? All right, silicon mine. Let's turn that off. Let's cruise back over here. We did get our materials out of the uh, cargo box. Well, that's unidentified signal is 800 and... All right. So we're not going to worry about that. That's a long ways. I didn't realize that. I was thinking it was a lot closer than that. So we are good on that unidentified signal. But I'm assuming at some point we're going to need to worry about those things as we move along. Anything on this hunk of rock right here? Looks like it's just the silicon. So we'll do another, we'll mine some more silicon and then we're going to move on. Okay, let's uh, get up here. Well, actually what we're going to do is we're going to get these uh, solar panels built. Uh, the stuff away that we gathered. Uh, basic room. Still grinding away on that. So if we click on this here, then we should be able to do this. Alright, so that's got all of that put away. And let's go in and get recharged up. hit the survival kit for our uh, hydrogen so if it all goes well today we'll get uh, solar panels and we've got the ore detector already on so that will be very helpful as we can see that it's already paid dividends okay which I would have never been able to find with just the uh, hand drill. All right. Let's do this. Let's go up here. And let's add that to the build planner. Let's come on. Let's add that to the build planner. Now, let's see what we need to Oh, we need the bullet. We don't worry about the bulletproof glass, uh, but we do need the 12 girders and the 32 solar cells. So let's get those into the assembler. The grids. Let's do 10, 20 of those. And display. Where's there? They are. 10, 20, 30, 1. That takes nickel and silicon, and so we have all of those ores, so we should be able to get these solar panels. Alright, let's... Uh, three computers, 36 others. Let's uh, do this, I think. I think we need to build a couple of... Okay, and let's grab those. Four more girders. And let's see if we can get one of these built. Yep, all we need is the and we don't need, really need to put the bulletproof glass on. Okay. Okay, now we need 32. I think it said we needed 32 more. Let's see if we got enough. We should have enough to build those others. 
Uh, okay. Where are we at here? Production. We need 32 of these. One, two, three, two. All right. Well, that's building. Let's see. Yeah, just down to the... And then we're going to see if we can't put another solar panel on here. It's going to look a little gaudy, I think, but three solar panels will really help keep things charged up. Again, we always have the hydrogen engine that we can use to charge the batteries. So that we should be able to put in an emergency so that we don't have to always depend on that. Uh, this way, this will, whenever we're in the sun, we should be able to Okay, let's go. All right. And then I think I want to put one more on top of this. So if we go eight. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't have any steel on me. So let's go grab a little bit of steel. And we might as well get uh, some more. I know we're going to need 32 more of these. One, two, three, one, two. So those can get to be built. Uh, let's uh, grab ten of these. All right. Now we should be able to. We might change this. Where's where'd my ship go? There we go. All right. So if we flip this and we turn them around, it's either that side or I think for now we'll just put it like this. I could put, yeah, we'll just, hmm, do I want to put, just stack them on top like that? I don't know. Let's see. Uh... Let's put it like this for now. And then... Then we can always grind it down and move it. Because we're not uh, scrapping anything. So we should be able to do this. Alright. And then what we're going to do is move out into the sun. Hopefully we got sun somewhere. And it's not the middle of the night, as it always seems to be. Uh, 12 girders. And let's, uh, let's get those going into production. Two. Those will produce fairly quickly. Uh, two computers. Okay. Four bulletproof glass, four bulletproof glass. Okay. All right. And excellent. We've got the solar panels in place, which is what we really kind of wanted to do. That was one of the main purposes today. Now let's, what do we got our uh, basic assembler that's working on the silicon? Uh, oh yeah, we wanted to get one more. How much silicon is that producing? Not a lot, but it's helping. All right, let's go get charged up. And then we've got to go grab another load of silicon here. And then, then it might be time to start moving on, or at least check another asteroid out around here. What we're trying to do is get close to the moon to where we can start building an outpost, is what, we're, what we really want to do. Okay. This. This. And, oh, 
Do I have anything? Oh, yeah, we need to drop off this steel here. Okay, let's get us some more silicon. We might have to grab some, we might as well grab some stone while we're here. This way we can kind of keep getting the iron. Got everything so far? Oh, there's a chunk. There's a chunk. There's a chunk. A chunk. Where's... Where is the way out of here? There we go. Alright, so we'll get this going. And then we'll grab a couple of... A couple of things of stone while we're here. Because that's really the only way that we're going to get iron. Let's uh, drop uh, this in right here. And that can keep grinding away. And we're still good. So let's just do some stone mining here. One more trip of that, and then we can throw that into the old cargo bay here. Let's put that right there. And I think we're still good on energy, so let's... Uh... Alright, let's do this stone in there. Okay. Alright. Let's go inside. And... Hop in the chair. Let's do this. Drop the money in. And let's go outside back this thing out of here. Boy, it is dark. Get this thing out in the light to see what we actually look like. Uh, we can turn that off so we're not using power. All right. start turning over this away. I think we are clear. Alright, so let's move around here get to where we can see the moon again and head towards our next destination. Let's get lined up here. Oh, there's the moon. Uh, looks like there's an asteroid dead ahead there. Let's. Alright, once I get over to this next asteroid, I'll uh, catch back up with you all, and we'll see if we can't uh, get lucky and find some iron on it. But we are ever so steadily getting closer. Alright, I am just about ready to close in on this next asteroid. So let's close over here just a little bit closer. Uh, and then we'll uh, see if we can get into the sunlight as well to see if our solar panels are going to actually collect anything and then well first off we're going to try to scan this uh, asteroid and see if we can't pick anything up it'd be nice to pick up some iron so let's uh, get over here a little bit closer turn the dampeners on let's see if we can kind of get turned around here Let's turn our uh, ore detector on. Let's cruise over here a little closer. All right, go back inside. Let's see if we can 
get a little closer here. I should probably at this point turn the basic refinery off. area and oh we got cobalt and ice well we found cobalt what we're really looking for is what we're really looking for is iron What we can do is mine that ice and uh, turn our hydrogen engine on and see if we can't get these batteries charged up. So let's drop down here a little bit more. Let's see if we can actually see the ice. Dropping down. unknown signal. I'll probably go try to grab that. Get those resources. Back up a little bit more. close enough now that we should be able to at least be able to find it with the uh, drill and so I'm gonna hop back inside here the uh, hop out of the seat uh, one of the things I wanted to look at though let's see something here Oop. all right I need to look at my controls. Thought we could do it there, but let's do this. Let's look at our control panel. Let's see what our solar panels are doing. It is collecting current output. Not too bad. There. The third one. A little bit better. So it is gathering. Let's see what our batteries are doing. Okay, it says fully recharged in 11 hours. So that means we are getting more energy coming in than we have uh, going out. So let's just uh, see if we can't adjust this a little bit more here. Uh, which way? Where is our sun at? Where's the sun? Oh, right there. All right. So, I think if we actually turn the ship around, might be able to get a little better
pull go inside and see if we can't get directly pointed at the sun okay we should be let's uh pop out of the seat and ah uh, okay sometimes when i hop out of the seat i don't catch my magnetic shoes doesn't catch the floor for whatever reason okay yeah they're getting full okay so let's just leave these sit right here and tell you what i'm gonna go after that where did it go? Uh, right there, that uh, unknown signal. And then uh, I'll uh, catch back up with you here in just a little bit. All right, I just got back from uh, the uh, unknown signal. Actually, it was this second one unknown signal. So there was this another one that just popped in, so I did both of them. And so let's get this over here. Let's get all of this stuff transferred over oh and let's see we're gonna want to bring one over yes one there we go we got a enhanced grinder but I've already made enhanced grinders so we will grind that down uh, actually we'll disassemble those and that and that so let's do this Where's our assembler? Let's bring this up over here. Our basic assembler. Let's drop this there. Drop that there. And what else? Components. Uh, we might want to hang on to those for now. Uh, oh, these radio comms. We can go ahead and disassemble those. And I think the rest of that stuff we'll just keep. So let's go into our production and let's go to our, let's disassemble all and put that. So we're going to get the iron, nickel, cobalt, silicon out of that. We're going to get silicon and iron and it's the iron that we need. We can use that iron. And then we're going to get uh, iron and silicon out of that. So that's that helps so that we can start building stuff. All right, let's put this back over to assembly. All right. Uh, so let's take a look at our how our batteries are doing. Uh, control panel uh, says uh, fully recharged in 20 hours. Uh, we're currently at stored power 1.87 milliwatts, which is actually over half on both of these, basically. I might have to adjust the ship a little bit since the sun is turning, so let's do that. So we want to keep charging these as much as possible. Yeah, our, where is our sun? Where did it go? Which way? Is it overhead? Yeah, there it is. All right, so let's hop back inside. There we go. Let's get more in line. Let's move out a little bit. Let's kind of just point right straight there at the sun. We can hop out of the... S Actually, we should be able to look at the seat, so if we look at our control panel we'll see that uh, fully recharged in 11 hours so yeah we're we're back out and our solar panels are kind of at maximum not quite fully maximum of 168 but we're pretty close and so yeah All right, let's, uh, I need to mine some ice. Let's hop out of the seat here. 
Not going to mine as much as I thought we need since we've kind of got the solar panels working the way we want. Uh, but if we come out... Oh, crap. I left the door open. Well, that's not good. We're going to need more ice on top of that. So if we look at our... Uh, where did it go? O2... Yeah, so our O2 H2 generator uh, should be functioning. So we're going to fill this up and maybe with a little extra. So I'm going to do some ice mining. And once I get that done, then I'll catch back up with you. All right. Well, I managed to get uh, some ice. So I managed to fill up. If we look, we can see. Well, I filled up some ice. I got extra ice in that small cargo container but if we go to our oxygen generator uh we uh completely full on it for right now so we're in pretty good shape with ice i did get some more stone so we'll be able to continue to grind that down into iron and whatnot so we've got a little bit of iron there but that's in the assembler but if we look we're at one point Five, three on the iron so I'm thinking that uh, we're uh, doing pretty good in that regard now if we look at our control panel and we take a look at our batteries it will be fully recharged in 11 hours we are at 1.89 uh, almost 1.9 so we're almost two-thirds of the way full on each battery so we should be in pretty good shape so i think our next challenge is to start making our way towards the moon and get close enough to the moon where we can start finding an outpost so if we go inside here and let's hop in the chair and let's go outside so if we look outside uh i think yeah there's the moon off over kind of in the center of the screen so i think what we want to do is start heading towards the moon and so i think at this point this would be a pretty good spot to end the video today we managed to get solar so let's hop out of the chair again uh if we hop out of here we can see that we've got our solar panels well, those are the two big things. We've got the three solar panels on. we got the three solar panels right there. And so they are collecting sunlight. We could move the one over and put a fourth one up. And we may want to do that at some point. But for now, let's see what we can do with that. Plus, we've got the ore detector. And that will help us find ore as we move along. Uh, that way we're not having to fly all over the asteroid in hopes of trying to hit with the uh, uh, elite drill. We need that uh, drill updated or upgraded some more for it to really be effective. So that's what we've got done today. All right, I think we're going to uh, call it good right here. Okay, well, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. That will really help the channel. Okay, all you space engineers out there, keep your heads low. Keep building away and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.